I've got other calls coming. I can't answer them because my it's freezing and won't let me look at it. I'm supposed to be in dispatch, but we don't have any other drivers. I f***ing need people. I needed help, so I brought in reinforcements. After losing my job because of jealous co-workers, I fought like hell and started my own roadside assistance company. Roadside is considered to be one of the nation's most deadly jobs, with an average of two struck and killed every month. It hasn't been easy, but at the end of the day, it's always worth it. Carl is an absolute hoot. I can tell you're a truck driver. <laughs> hand on the shifter. <laughs> Your hand has not left the shifter since we were. I'm a big rig truck driver. I got a big rig for a living. Frank should be really good right now. Okay, go ahead and head back. I can't walk any further. <laughs> what do you want me to talk about? You look sexy. Oh, he over here? I like your big idea, my teeth. They look sexy. Are you talking? Yeah. You said whisper. I, I like your sexy panties. You got sexy underwear on. I'm gonna stay back You're here. Sexy piece. Uh -huh. Jordan is a realist. He's not afraid to say what's on his mind. What the fuck are we doing? Sitting in the middle of the goddamn road, bro. How many fucking Mississippis do we need to be counting? What Mississippi? Two Mississippi? It's like fucking go. That corn right there is ready to be picked. Yeah, no. Gotta go pick that corn now. That right. He's from the south. Yeah, like a little shade. That's what the last thing. Looks sexy, pretty cute. Looks good. They say in the Old Testament, the hoary head is filled with wisdom. It's about wisdom, but it's full of something. So I, I hear we got another dispatcher coming on board. Guys, should I like pre-introduce her? Gonna pre-introduce her? It's my girlfriend, friend of yours from OnlyFans, uh, Lexi Bell. I love you. I love you. Rock your shit. I'll rock I'll my shit. Rock mine. Alright, you rock your shit. I love you. Alright. I love you too. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we're going to have uh, two adult stars <laughs> working that working with uh, Red Rescue. You should be coming on as a dispatcher. Well, yeah, you want to do laundry. <laughs> She's a little bit more involved. <laughs> Coming on board dispatch, she's gonna be riding along with me too to learn a job. That way she knows exactly what we're doing when we're out in the field. Hello y'all, Lexi. I get to go and see what a lockout's like. How you doing, call for a lockout? Okay, you thank you. Thank you. I need you to do me a favor. I need everyone to see my cute vest. My cute vest? My cute vest. All right, this is Lexi Bells. Check this out. Vest got just for her. Yes, indeed. But it's purple, so I'm like really, really happy over that because purple is my favorite color. I am doing my day job, Midwest Road Rescue. I do more than just answer phones. I deal with working with customers, and he holds one of our contracts. Yes. Did you know that theft is huge on U-Hauls? That people actually steal them a lot and live in them? It's crazy. Right. So why are you here at Road Rescue? Well, I'm here because of all the years of helping people out and you know, taking pay cuts to help companies or going on the way to help companies and, and the final way just get screwed over and drive a truck for over 20 years and just get screwed every time you turn around. I just want to be able to help people out and just be appreciated for doing it. So 
I ended up just having to not pay me. So to recap, a simple jump start turned into a battery change. And remind you, roadside systems really don't do battery change. Every time we have to do a battery change, the customer pays out of pocket. So I let it sit on there for a solid 15 minutes to let it charge. And then right before I gave her the final ultimatum, went ahead, had to try to start it, nothing. So I took out the battery for her and went to Advanced Auto. Once we got back in the car, she mentioned that. Uh, my, my husband's in the army, so. Oh, thank him for his service. So how long have your husband been in the army? Oh gosh, about 30 years. He's actually getting ready to retire. I'm just hoping that a little major not have to pay this $65 for me to replace her battery helps. I will, I'll eat the cost out of my own time. I'm really excited. We get to go help someone and that's pretty cool. I enjoy that very, very much.